Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. There's a handful of things uh, coming out today on physical media, uh, one of which is coming from Warner Brothers, and that is the final season of Shameless here uh, on DVD. Great, funny show. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't watched all of them yet or anything like that, especially the, the final season. I just re recently got one to showcase for a video for you guys. Uh, the 11th and final season, I think I've only ever seen like maybe two seasons of it, the first two seasons of it on television. Always thought it was kind of a funny, wacky out there show. But there's also um, uh, The Wraith uh, coming out today with Charlie Sheen uh, for the first time on Blu-ray, which I think is coming out from Shout Factory and we may, maybe see it in Best Buy, I'm hoping. And uh, also, um, Eight-Legged Freaks is uh, coming out, the David Arquette flick that, you know, is coming out from the Screen Factory as well. Uh, those are just some of the ones that uh, I'm interested in, those two uh, Shout Factory or Scream Factory titles uh, that are hitting the streets today. Um, also, I am going to have some reviews uh, at the end of this video, along with like an unboxing. Uh, I have, I'm going to have a review of uh, the new House of Wax uh, from Scream Factory at the end of this video, along with the Dead Zone uh, and stuff like that. And also, uh, The Wrath of Man. So stay tuned for reviews of these, one, these three and an unboxing of a... New autograph I got in the mail today, so I'll stay tuned to the end of this video for that. But right now, hit that thumbs up button if you guys support my videos. Rocking my Sleepaway Camp t-shirt right here. But let's get on out, see what we find today. Well, that's my first stop of the day. The local closest Goodwill. Let's head on in and hopefully find something cool. Let's get up in there. All right, all right. Let's see what they got going on in here today. Down and out in Beverly Hills. I don't come across that one too often. That's kind of rad. Kind of rad to see. Metallica, some kind of monster. That's another one I don't see that often uh, in here. One or two things I might have to, you know, give a scan or what have you. And it looks like they kind of um, put a lot of the Blu-rays together now at this one. There's like a couple of small shelves of like physical media and stuff. And of course, you know, uh, other, other resellers and shit. But, um... Yeah, let's see if we can find any cool Blu-rays in here. Oh, $5.99. Yeah, I, I just sold one of these ones for like 10 on my eBay store, so it's not really worth getting uh, right there. But, you know, it's kind of cool that they, they're kind of uh, sectioning them out now, Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff. Ooh, a couple ants over here. All right, Goodfellas. What is that, like a bootleg or something? Goodfellas. I don't. I never seen that cover before. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you've seen this cover of Goodfellas. Not. I haven't seen that one before. What else they got going on over here? Painted Veil. Ghost Rider. All the Blu-rays seem like they're like five ninety-nine uh, in here today. The Barber. Yeah, no, nothing super crazy. That's like you know, cr you know, standing out right now. They do have the good old Willy Wonka there. All right, guys, I just came across this, my summer story here on Blu-ray, and uh, it goes for about 20 online, but the disc, the Blu-ray itself, looks like a hockey puck. So, putting that one back. Well, just made it on over to Best Buy. Let's head on in there and see if they have the Book of Saw Spiral. I think there might be like a special edition of it or something, or like Steelbook. All right, let's see what Best Buy has in store for us today. Of course, they have Mortal Kombat, the new one that came out last week from Warner Brothers, uh, right here. I got sent a review copy of the 4K, which I'll be talking about in a future Hoarding Up video. Uh, thanks, Warner Brothers, for sending on over a copy of that. But the main title that came out today is Spiral, which I still th I think I might be getting a review copy of this one in in the next uh, day or two, maybe even later today, for all I know. But I thought there was going to be a still book. And uh, there was, and it's sold out right now. It was uh, 30 bucks right here. This is, of course, the new uh, Saw, Saw film uh, that's like pretty much created uh, by uh, Chris Rock right here. I've been kind of really wanting to see this one. It looks like it could be kind of cool. You know what I mean? I've always been a fan of the Saw franchise and Chris Rock, so it's kind of like a, a cool mixture. And uh, they, have, they have the new uh, Saw, uh, you know, slip cases right here for Saw and uh, Jigsaw uh, right here on Blu-ray. The slipcovers are okay. Not not my cup of tea, but those those ones are okay. I love the movies though. And what is this? What is this? Die in a gunfight. Okay, this one stars uh, a, ha a handful of different people in here. 
Uh, was this, that's, I don't think I heard about this one before. Was this Lionsgate? I think this might be a Lionsgate film, yeah. And we got uh, Star, uh, Star Wars Discovery Season 3, Steelbook Edition, and the regular standalone uh, Blue Rizzle right there. Uh, there's a couple of things that came out today, like uh, catalog titles that I'll be interested in getting if I see it in stores today. Uh, Little Big League and some other cool um, catalog stuff. But uh, here's some other things that came out today. The 10th uh, season of uh, The Walking Dead uh, on Blu-ray. I think my mom was uh, really into the show and watching it all the time. But I forgot what season she's left off on. I, 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 don't, know if we, I don't know if we kept continuing on uh, with, with those seasons when it, when it comes to that. But what else do they got going on over here? I was really hoping to see like the Wraith or like Little Big League or Eight-Legged Freaks up in there. But there's always Walmart. There's always Walmart. At the next stop of the day, the Hope of the Valley Thrift Store. Let's head on in and hope for the best. Okay guys, let's see if they got anything new up in here today. They do have Down Periscope, which I know is an out of print title. I think by itself, if you get a DVD of it by itself, it goes for like 13 to 20 bucks online. I always liked that movie with uh, Kelsey Grammer, who you guys all know from Frasier and stuff. That's, that's pretty decent. But I think that one's been sitting here for a while and has like scratches all over it and stuff. But um, what else they got in here? H2O, Just Add Water. The this, this season sets are pretty cool. I had, I had got a couple of those to review back in the day. The Edge. Yeah, lately I haven't been seeing a lot of Blu-rays in here. Like some of the ones that I have been seeing are like the ones that have been sitting here for a while. Like Insidious and you know, the Ides of March and stuff. And not, not a whole lot of like Blu-rays going on. But uh, we shall see if we come across anything. The Raid 2. Aren't they, are they making another one? I think they might be making another Raid movie or already did. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Getting on my knees now. Like, like I normally do. Cause I'm a hoe. But, um, yeah. What I got here. What's this? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Complete sixth season. They got one of my favorite movies of all time in here. Reality Bites. Can't go wrong with that one. I have an autographed copy of this one in my house, signed by Lisa Loeb. You know, the lady that did the, the main theme song uh, for the film. Yeah, Hope of the Valley has a lot of the same old um, stuff in here from like the previous weeks. Nothing's here, nothing's really changed here. Just made it on over to the Dollar Tree. Let's head on in and see if they got any new movies. Yeah, the weekly wow is up and it says they have movies, so let's hope for the best. And it looks like they do. And it's just kind of like one big mess over here, like always is. Cotton candy. Oh, I may. I think Mr. Nichols told me to pick this one up. A unicorn's adventure. He, he's gonna say it's for his daughter, but we all know who it's for. Oh, hey, Art of the Dead. Tara Reed. Okay, this is made by Ralph Knifsky. I think I, I I almost went to the premiere of this one. That, that, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of I kind of always wanted to see this one. Uh, Richard Grieco, Tara Reid. It, it could be it could be cool. It could be cool. I wasn't expecting to see that. What else they got in here? Listen up, fill up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like dig through this because this is kind of like a a, <laughs> a a giant mess. Well, I didn't find really much of anything inside the Dollar Tree. The only thing I got was uh, Art of the Dead uh, here on DVD. What the hell for a dollar? God get it, Tara Reed's awesome. And the last stop of the day is Walmart. Hopefully they have something good in there today. Well guys, in Walmart right now, it looks like they're still trying to put out the movies here. And I'm not gonna just try to dig through those boxes while the employees are right here and shit. I might get hit with that steel chair if I start if I start doing that. But the only things I'm noticing different uh, that's on the new release rack right here uh, is the, you know, the saw, the new saw uh, slip covers uh, that came out for the, you know, the final chapter. You know, and all the other ones right here. You guys let me know down below. What do you guys think about these new slipcovers? Necessary? Unnecessary? Let me know down below. But for $5.96 for, for a DVD one with the new slipcover, that's not horrible. And of course, they do have the, the Spiral uh, Blu-ray DVD and 4Ks over here. No exclusives that I'm noticing. And of course, the new SpongeBob movie, uh, Sponge on the Run. Which, was this, was, it this, was this this week or was this last week? I can't remember because I didn't. I didn't make a, a legit hoarding up video last week, but uh, yeah, that, that that's another one that's on the new release shelf uh, right now. Uh, mostly Saw, 
and SpongeBob. It's a, a large S week, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that's all that Walmart has out right now. Like I said, I ain't trying to dig through those boxes and get some like, you know, Walmart employee to try to, you know, take a chair, take a chair shot to my fat ass or anything like that. But uh, yeah, all I got today was the Art of the Dead from the Dollar Tree. But right now, let's head on home for an unboxing and for the DVD re review portion of this video. Let's go. I uh, just got back home from hoarding up and uh, I have a box here that was sent to me by Lionsgate. Uh, it's kind of hefty, but not really hefty. I'm still gonna be doing the reviews upstairs, so uh, stay tuned for that. But let's open up this box that is coming from Li yeah, Lionsgate Home Entertainment and uh, find out uh, what they sent today. Let's see, I'm hoping Saw, you know, Spiral, but like, why would it be in a box like this? But let's find out what Lionsgate has in store today. Just to add, you know, add something special to the video. Let's see. I'm trying to open this up with my keys. Cause I'm ghetto baby. Oh, and for you guys who don't know, uh, I am a shareholder in AMC stock. And uh, it, the stock went up 24% went up today. So I'm kind of a little bit happy. But who knows, the stock could shoot right back down again. But how many of you guys out there watching this video are in the stock market at all? I, I'm, that's the only thing I'm in, in it on is for AMC stock. I heard a lot of good things about it. But um, especially from my homeboy, uh, uh, David, my buddy David. But uh, Okay, I'm just trying to open up this box to find out what's in here. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the best and I'm holding. I'm holding. Uh, I'm, I'm what you call an ape. Uh, in the whole AMC army movement that's going on right now, I, I think. I guess you can call my I can call myself that. But damn, they, man, they taped this one up good. But I'm just trying to like you know talk to you guys as I'm trying to open this here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good day. It is hot as balls out today, and I just passed my 10,000 step goal today as of this moment. Uh, so let's open this up. And what is this? I was hoping for like the book of saw, but I don't know what this is. You guys see it here? What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, it is Saw. We do have Saw here on 4K, starring Chris Rock. And I knew, I knew, I, I knew I had a feeling something was coming, but what is this? What is this? Well, yeah, this one was out in stores right now on Blu-ray and 4K. I definitely gonna be watching this one uh, tonight. Expect a review of that one in a future Hoarding Up video. But what else is in here? You got some uh, paper. And we got a, a box. What does Lionsgate have in store for us today? Got to untie, get, untie this box and find out what's in here. This is, this is a complete, I don't know what this is. I, I know that's a 4K, but what is in this shoebox looking thing? Hopefully it doesn't like jump out at me or anything. What is this? What, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna put this down. There's like little things in here, like a little, Saw, spiral, like, what is this? You open this up and we get a, oh, is it like a voice recorder? I think it's like a little voice recorder. And we also got um, something, some other stuff in here. Uh, this is a plug me in to play me. Plug me in to play me. As, as a little card says right there. Okay. Solve to unlock spiral. I think this is, might be like a little game. Like a little spiral game that's factory sealed right here. And this is what was in that little, little black box I just showed that said solve to uh, unlock. It's like little puzzle pieces. So like something like I would have to like put together to, you know, put together this little puzzle. That's kind of rad. And what is this? We get one last little thing in here. Okay, oh, and we get a little USB, a little USB cord. Okay. We get like a little lock box. Like a little lock box, you have to have the, the right code to open this thing slide to the side and open what is this how do you open this thing all right i don't know what the number is do i have to have like the right number because it has like the little codes it has like the little codes right here you have to have the right number to open it i don't even know how, how i would open this thing is there like a clue is there a clue somewhere let me see here slide button open latch I don't know what's in here. You know what? Stay tuned for the next Hoarding Up video next week, next Tuesday. 
and uh, we'll find out together what's in here because I don't know what the code is. I don't know what the code is to get in here. I may have to watch the movie first because I haven't seen it yet to find out what the code could possibly be for this little lockbox. So stay tuned for next Tuesday's Hoarding Up video and hopefully I can get this thing open and we'll find out what's inside. But right now, let's head on upstairs for some uh, DVD and Blu-ray reviews. And thank you Lionsgate for this really cool care package. I don't know what's in here, but we'll find out. Alright guys, now on to the review portion of this video right here. But before I want to get, before I get to that, uh, I want to show you one thing I did pick up at Best Buy a few days ago. Well, when I, when I went there, I didn't, you know, wasn't filming that day. But I did pick up a copy of Event Horizon uh, here on Blu-ray uh, from Best Buy. I think it was what, like, $23, $23.99 with the slipcover. Always loved Event Horizon. But I picked that up a few days ago, not today for the, this video. But I just wanted to show you guys I got that one. And uh, let's get, you know, before I get to the three reviews I have, let's get to this unboxing uh, of an autograph. Uh, an autograph I got. And uh, I think it's pretty badass. It's of one of my favorite uh, wrestlers who is also an actor, and who's also no longer with us uh, anymore. And uh, this one comes with, um, hold on, let me gotta get this out of here. Bam. This one, oh, hell yeah, dude, it's a great shot too. This one comes with uh, JSA uh, authentication. And I actually met this uh, actor slash wrestler uh, once or twice at conventions in the past. And uh, I have like two different pictures with him, which I'll flash up on the screen. But that is, the late great Roddy Roddy Piper, uh, right here, uh, signed eight by ten with him in the ring, holding the holding the mic, right there with the JSA, uh, you know, sticker that matches the same number that's on the card, uh, so you know it's authentic and everything. Uh, been a big fan of uh, Roddy Piper, always one of been one of the best uh, wrestlers to be on the mic. You know what I mean? One of the best heels, the bad guys, uh, you know, in, in wrestling and stuff. Even though this shot right here is like him, you know, like, like as a good guy. I don't know, man. I always liked Roddy Piper, man. Like I said, I'll flash a couple pictures up. I, I think I took like two two pictures with him. One at, one at Fangoria Weekend of Horror and another one like at a couple months before he passed away kind of thing. But yeah, that's Roddy Roddy Piper right here. Great 8x10. I got his autograph once before and it's this one right here. Uh, uh, yeah, this one right here says, To Brendan Roddy Roddy Piper because he's also the star of They Live that John Carpenter made. He signed my DVD right here. But now... Got an 8x10 by the man. Rest in peace, Mr. Uh, Mr. Roddy Roddy Piper. But now, guys, let's get on to the reviews I, I have for you guys today. I have two from Scream Factory and one uh, from Warner Brothers. And uh, I'm going to get to the you know Scream Factory ones first here because these ones are just amazing. These ones are amazing, man. Uh, first up right here is a collector's edition of Stephen King's The Dead Zone uh, here on Blu-ray, of course, starring Christopher Walken. And uh, this is a movie... I, I've, I haven't really watched a whole lot of. I think I may have seen it, you know, maybe once or twice back in the VHS days and stuff like that. And it's pretty much about this, te this, this you know, Christopher Walken's character who's a teacher. And, uh, you know, he's in, a he's in a relationship with another teacher at this school. And, uh, you know, the, one day uh, after he's hanging out with his mistress or whatever, uh, he, get, he gets in a car accident on the street. And uh, gets put into a coma and wakes up five years later. And uh, things are a little bit different with him. As soon as he touches people, or shakes their hand, or touches people, he can like you know see crazy stuff that's probably that's gonna about to happen to them or people they know. Like they're gonna die or get in a car wreck or you know uh, you know die you know die in a in, in, in a drowning you know kind of thing. So he kind of turns into like a, the psychic that's sort of helping the police you know like you know solve a certain you know uh, murder murder spree that's going on and other other things along the way. And uh, I just, I haven't seen this one in years, and I was just really, really surprised by it. Even though it kind of like, um, you know, uh, loses its gusto, like, you know, sort of like midway through the movie, then picks up again at the end. Uh, but it does look amazing here uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, great performance in here by uh, Christopher Walken. Uh, of course, we get a, a, a new uh, beautiful slipcase right here with the original uh, artwork that I remember seeing from, like, the you know, the VHS uh, back in the day. And uh, you open it up, and you get a... The inside artwork and of course the, the reversible artwork uh, in here, which is you know the same as this right here, which I, I really like this artwork right here. Whoever the artist is on this, whoever whoever's artist is on um, you know the, this slipcover and even the next one I'm going to show you, uh, I really wish it was the same person that 
worked on the Friday, you know, the Halloween, the new Halloween 4Ks that are coming out from Scream Factory. Because I don't know, the artwork for those new Halloween ones look kind of a little off to me. But uh, this one right here, you get a new 2020 scan from the original film Negative. Interviews with the actress Brooke Adams, who was also like, you know, um, Christopher Walken's love interest in the movie. And the audio commentary by uh, the director and uh, photography artist. And uh, of course, you know, a little making of special featurettes and stuff uh, on the making of the film. Uh, really fun adaptation from a Stephen King movie. I, I really like this one. And plus, I've been a big um, Christopher Walken fan for a long time. How could you not like Mr. Uh, Christopher Walken? But uh, if you like the Dead Zone, definite, that definite upgrade uh, on Blu-ray. And the next one I got, these, these, these both I got sent for free to review from Scream, uh, Scream Factory. Next one up is the House of Wax. This is the, of course, the remake uh, that came out in 2005, uh, starring uh, Paris Hilton and um, Chad Michael Murray uh, and, and, and some others here. And it's about, you know, this group of, the group of friends uh, going out. Uh, to go to like a fo like a big football game or whatever it is, and they get you know they get stuck in traffic and all this other stuff, and they kind of like you know set up shop on the side of the road, you know in, in a, like a desert, uh, you know not desert area but like you know desolate area, and then you know shit goes wrong, and uh, they're starting to run from like a bad guy, and uh, you know they they find this whole town that's pretty much made of wax, and uh, a killer or killers you know, coming after them, and uh, it's definitely a lot different from like the original House of Wax with Vincent Price and stuff, but I, I always liked that one too, but this one was actually not that bad, it also stars, like I said, Paris Hilton in here, around the same time as like, I believe, A Simple Life and uh, her sex tape scandal, and uh, she wasn't bad, you know what I mean, she really wasn't that bad, and uh, this is the first time I, I've watched this movie in many, many years, this is of course the, the cover I remember when I got like the DVD snapper case uh, back in the day. And uh, I don't know. I, I found it to be. I found it to be enjoyable. I found it to be real enjoyable uh, here. Uh, looks amazing here on uh, on Blu-ray. And you also get a new interview in here uh, with uh, Paris Sultan talking about the making of the movie and stuff, which I thought was cool that they added to this disc. Uh, of course, the original making of uh, House of Wax on Blu-ray uh, here. B-roll and blooper. Uh, video cast commentary, uh, which was kind of cool that they added uh, to this uh, to this Blu-ray disc right here. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I, I, I really enjoyed re-watching this one after, a, a, I don't know, like a decade since the last time I think I've, I've watched this one right here. But yeah, man, two solid, two solid Scream Factory titles uh, being uh, being put out by Scream Factory. I believe this one's out now and this one will be coming out in like a week or so or either or. Uh, I forgot I forgot exactly the release dates, but these are either out now or will be out in the next week or so, uh, pretty much. But thank you, Scream Factory slash Thought Factory, for sending these on over uh, for for me to review. Great fun stuff, man. Especially this one. I've had to pick one. To, if I had to pick one, it would probably be the Dead Zone would be my favorite one out of the two. But there, I found I found a lot of enjoyment watching both of those last night, to be honest. And uh, the last one up I got right here is a movie that's been out for about a week or so. Got it from Warner Brothers for free to review. Uh, I was told to say that. And uh, that's a new Jason Statham movie, uh, Wrath of Man, uh, here. And um, it's pretty much about this guy, uh, played by Jason Statham, who gets a job uh, as like a Brinks security driver. You know, like a guy that, uh, not Brinks, but you know, like those the big cash uh, trucks that go around picking up cash from different businesses and stuff. And uh, he, he gets this job driving this uh, money truck. And um, he's, he's kind of a, he kind of has this weird dark past. And uh, these other bad guys are trying to rob these trucks. And it, it's, it's kind of a fun little, uh, you know, uh, thriller film. And uh, I found it to be enjoyable. Of course, you get the basic, you know, Jason Statham kind of, you know, action moments and stuff. I've been a fan of his since the movie Crank. The Crank movies back then. I don't know. I always liked those ones. But uh, yeah, if you guys love Jason Statham movies, it's kind of like... It's kind of what you expect. I believe this one was directed by Guy Ritchie, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, Guy Ritchie, uh, the same guy that made the movie Snatch uh, back in the day. Along that, I think this isn't isn't Guy Ritchie the one that made Jason Statham a star, like they put him in like the first his first big movie, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, great great fun movie. You know, kind of generic, but I kind of enjoyed this one. Uh, either way, uh, I don't see myself rewatching this a whole bunch of times, like like I will like you know Dead Zone and House of Wax, but I like this one. It was enjoyable. But uh, guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today uh, for this hoarding up video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you guys support what I do here. Also, check out my eBay store. I have a link for it in the description box or in the pinned top comment here. I added a handful of new things on there if you guys want to check it out. I even have a, a DVD copy that's out of print 
of uh, Kevin Smith's movie Dogma. It's, you know, out of print title. And I have it up for auction uh, right now. I put it up as a 99 cent auction and now it's up, up to like three bucks right now. But if you guys would like to, you know, bid on that and if you guys are interested in getting an out of print title for yourself, you can. Along with some other stuff I have on there. Uh, sorry for a shameless plug when it comes to that. But also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links are down below as well. And I'll catch you guys next time. Well, I didn't find really much of anything inside the Dollar Tree. The only thing I got was uh, Art of the Dead uh, here on DVD. What the hell? For a dollar. God get it. Tara Reed's awesome. But uh, let's head on over to the last stop of the day.